ECU Athletics presents The Coach Mo Show. The Coach Mo Show is brought to you by Vitant Health, official health system of the ECU Pirates. And now, the voice of the Pirates, Jeff Charles. We are just a few days away from the start of another Pirate football season. Things are very exciting here on campus, and this is our first show of the year. So welcome back to another year of Pirate football talk right here. Coming up, Coach Mo will join me in just a moment. You know, it went viral back in the spring. Keontae Anderson got the scholarship from Coach Mo on Mother's Day. We're going to relive that very special moment. Brian Bailey will be here, too. The storyline for Pirate football this fall has been the quarterback battle. Brian will tell us all about that. Coach Connors is back again, too. Jeff Connors, our strength and conditioning coach, with another segment of Camp Connors, one of the very talented freshman running backs in the program. Trace Christian will be in the spotlight. And just a few days away now from the start of the season, the defending FCS national champion, James Madison Dukes, will be here at 6 o'clock on Saturday night. Hang in there with us. Coach Mo will join me right after this. Introducing new Coke Zero Sugar. Notice any difference? Looks more like Coke, tastes more like Coke. And with zero sugar. Taste it to believe it. I'm not the type to say any of this mushy garbage. You know what? I'm going for it. You are completely and utterly awesome. I'm glad you showed up. In my life. I think I'm about to cry. You better not. Every single time I get down. You always have my back. My back. It's really hard to describe. It's like all these tiny little things. Yes, yes, things are actually friendship. Introducing new Coke Zero Sugar. Notice any difference? Looks more like Coke, tastes more like Coke. And with zero sugar. Taste it to believe it. Power starts here, and it's taken here. It makes history, it rewrites history, and then rewrites it again. Power is excellence, champions, teams of destiny. Power is every season, every week, every day. It's the relentless pursuit of excellence in what comes next. The American Power for Life. Oh yeah, it's uh, going really great. We got a lot of energy right now. It's good to see all the preparation that we've been putting in on the spring and summer kind of coming together. You know, we got a lot of guys, uh, you know, this is their first time stepping on the field. They're making huge impacts. And I'm just really, really ecstatic about uh, where the team is right now. Really, I had a, I had a good eye on who, who I thought was going to come out and play. But uh, I did not think our running backs were going to run like that. We have not had, not had some guys who can really break through tackles, arm tackles, stuff like that. So it's really been a pleasure to watch those running backs run. And it really makes you work harder as an offensive line. So, you know, if you can get just those little holes just so that they can run through, it'll turn into points. That's really been a pleasure to watch. You know, competition, competition is good for everybody. Um, we have a lot of competition in our room, I, I believe. Um, every room on the team has competition going right now, and I really believe that it's making us a much better team. 
Coach Bo is here, and Coach, here we are, just a few days away from the start of the season. Everybody's excited, aren't they? Everybody's excited, especially our football team, but I know how Pirate Nation, how anxious everyone, we're anxious to get started. One of the storylines coming into the season, the quarterback battle was a very spirited contest, and tell us how all that flushed out. It was amazing to be able to watch our guys go out and compete. I thought Gardner Minshew and Thomas Sirk both gave their best effort. Uh, I think Gardner's history with us, uh, along with just knowing his personnel, gave him the edge in the end. But the, the kids were so happy that Gardner was, was named uh, starting quarterback. But they were equally as happy as the way that Thomas Sirk came in and competed. We know all about Gardner. He was here last year. But you have an infusion of talent coming into this program, don't you? We do. We're really excited about the guys that we were able to add to this football team, whether it had been grad transfer for a uh, junior college transfer or some of the young guys that we have coming from high school. We have done a really good job, our staff especially has done a great job of going out, finding the right type of people and inviting them into our family. And the, you know, the grad transfers are some of the ones that you really are concerned about when they enter your program because you want them to make sure that they have the humility that it takes to come in and be a part of a new team. And that's exactly what they have. And a lot of these guys have been here. They went through spring ball. They've been here all summer in conditioning workouts. So that has been good. It's amazing how hard this team has already worked and we haven't even started the season yet. Coach Connors had a great off season program for us this year. We were really happy. We kind of finished it off with the gridiron grind where we go out there on the football field and our each parts of our team offense and defense, they compete against each other. And it was just fantastic to watch. I was so overjoyed. It made me feel like a player again to be able to get out there and be in the middle of that competition and watch those guys leave it all out there on the line. Coach, people say there's more depth on this football team this year. You have more bodies to work with. Is that the case? There's, there's no question about that. You know, last year at this time, we probably had about six defensive linemen that we were able to go into the game with. Now we're trying to get down from 14 to 12 uh, that we can go into a football game with and ready and prepared to play. So that's one of the things that we found out in October that we did not have enough of last year. We came through the gauntlet of some big-time games. Now we've prepared ourselves. And, it, you know, it has a lot to do with what you do right now uh, in the present that what determines what your future is like. And I'm glad that we went to work in October and November and December. Our coaches did a great job recruiting and we're really happy for it. And when we talk about our coaches, some new guys on the staff, I know you're excited about. Really excited. Uh, you know, we get to bring back a pirate, which always helps. Uh, Jason Nichols, our running back coach, has just been fantastic. We've elevated our running back uh, room, not only from a talent standpoint, but also what we've been able to do with the relationship that he's been able to build and teach them what true pirate culture is all about. We've also had the ability to add Keith Gaither on the offensive side of the ball at the receiver coaching uh, position. You know, it's one of those positions that we've been very fortunate to continue to have talent year after year, and we always have to have the right person in there to be able to develop that talent. As we switch to the defensive side of the ball, Brandon Lynch now is our defensive back coach, taking over for uh, Coach Smith, who's been here for a long time working with our guys and big shoes to fill. And he came in and he did it his way. I'm really, really proud of the way that he's competed uh, and had his, has his team competing right now in the defensive secondary. And then our associate head coach and defensive line coach and also uh, just a wonderful person and great recruiter, uh, Robert Prunty comes in and has really, really changed the face of our defensive line. So we're really excited about this year. We'll have more with Coach Mo right after this. Now the Bills are out of timeouts. Keep that in mind with 13 seconds to go. Peterman up Pick on it. top. Wow. That's a heck of a catch inside the 10-yard line by Zay Jones. He's going to bump him and then play zone underneath. Anticipates the safety over the top. Here comes Corey Graham, but look at the back shoulder throw. Perfect placement and by Peterman and Zay Jones their second round pick catches the ball and gets two feet down how about two rookies connecting on that throw and catch out Golden Corral's prime rib and shrimp spectacular is here slow roasted prime rib shrimp skewers hot off the grill garlic herb butter sirloin and butterfly shrimp dinner's just $13.99 so hurry in for endless prime rib and shrimp Golden Corral your choice rules Tens of thousands of students attend East Carolina University, and some never set foot on campus. Because our distance education classes are taught by professional faculty and held to the same high standards as on-campus learning. As one of the largest universities and the largest online community in the state, you'll find the Pirate Nation wherever you are. With this many ways to connect, share, and succeed, we'll guide you to graduation and beyond. ECU Online, North Carolina's leader in distance education. Power explodes. And 
excites. It has strength. Power is knowledge and heart. Power is standing together, stretching the boundaries, rising up, getting better together to rise even higher. Let's go! The American Power for Life. These are the faces that make up Pirate Nation, an undaunted family. These snapshots in time remind us why we play. They're moments in time that motivate and create memories for generations. Seven Saturdays this fall, create your own memories as together we share a state of mind. And together we are the Pirates of ECU. Visit ecupirates.com to purchase your 2017 Pirate football season tickets today. Golden Corral's Prime Rib and Shrimp Spectacular is here. Slow roasted prime rib, shrimp skewers hot off the grill, garlic herb butter sirloin and butterfly shrimp. Dinner's just $13.99. So hurry in for endless prime rib and shrimp. Golden Corral, your choice rules. Something's happening here. Groundbreaking research, discovering molecules that kill cancer cells, T-cell generation that could treat MS, breakthroughs in particle laser physics, top programs graduating business leaders, teachers, nurses, physicians, dentists, and healthcare specialists. If you're thinking this only happens at great national universities, you're right, this is ECU. America's next great national university. I think Coach Mo got a great mindset. Uh, competition does uh, bring success. Uh, we, we work hard. We compete with each other each and every day. Uh, no let ups um, unless we have to go third. And even then, <laughs> we still banging. So uh, I feel like uh, physical mentality is uh, a great football team if you have that. There's, there's a lot of guys who, lucky for ECU, slipped through the cracks and, and got, got an opportunity to come here and be uh, top notch players. It's not. The speed's not slower, nothing's, nothing's dropped off since transfer from the Big Ten. So um, I had to step up my game a little bit, if anything, coming off an injury and coming into a new system. So, I mean, those guys pushed me first, second, and third stringers. We all push each other, so it was great. Welcome back to the show. It went viral, as we say these days, and what a great moment it was for the Anderson family, Keontae and his mother, when you gave him a scholarship back in the spring, Coach. Tell us a little bit about that. You know, it's one of those situations where we didn't think that it was going to be quite as big as, as it turned out to be. We, we wanted to record the moment and give it to the kid and his parents. Uh, and, and it just went, it, it, like you said, it went viral. But it was truly the culmination of a lot of people thinking of different ways to reward someone for doing everything right. I'm talking about on the field, off the field, uh, in the community, like we said before. Uh, he's just been fantastic. And to be able to go over and give it to Tia in person and, and on Mother's Day of all times and, and, and to be able to capture that moment. Uh, that was true Pirate family and Pirate Nation. I know that they enjoyed it, but no one enjoyed it more than me because when you're in a position and you have uh, you know, a certain platform to be able to serve and help others, it feels really good to be able to give it to people that truly deserve it. Well, this will certainly tug at your heartstrings for sure. Happy Mother's Day, and let's get this report. We're about to go in here. She doesn't know it, but it's Mother's Day, and I'm about to put Keontae Anderson on scholarship and... Uh, his mother, Tia, works here at, at South Greenville Elementary School, so I just decided to show up today. Uh, he loves her. He speaks so highly of her, talks about her sacrifices, and uh, he's earned it on and off the field, so we wanted to just come over here in person. He doesn't know it either, so we're going to actually have him, her call him to let him know uh, that he's on full scholarship. This will be great. Good morning. How are we doing? I brought cameras on campus. I'm, I'm, I'm the one responsible for it. Uh, we got great local mothers. Uh, here in this Mother's Day weekend, so I came out uh, to say Happy Mother's Day to you. And uh, you have such a fantastic son. He uh, he has um, he has done everything that he's supposed to do. And I wanted to personally come over here and tell you how great he was. But it's Mother's Day, and you were so close. So I just wanted to come over and give you a nice Mother's Day gift. Oh. <laughs> wow. Yes, 
Oh my goodness. Thank you so much. Wow, this means so much. So happy Mother's Day and uh, you know, we, we couldn't do a lot, but you're local. Yes. And we were able to get out and say happy Mother's Day to cool. you. Thank you so much. He doesn't know. He doesn't know you. <laughs> so you're going to have to get him on the phone and call him and let him know. <laughs> Happy Mother's Day, sweetie. You deserve it. He deserves it. Um, I was just talking about this last night. I was just praying about that last night because he needed it. We need that at this moment. That means a lot. Thank you so much. Thank you. I work hard. I, I work do. hard to raise my kids and be successful and do what they need to do. So it means a lot. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. It means a lot. And, and I appreciate everything that you've done and every opportunity that y'all have given him to be a part of the team. It means so much. I have so much pirate pride. Yeah. I do. Keontae. Good morning. Guess what? I'm here with Coach Mo and, and some cameras and people, and uh, I just got presented with the best Mother's Day gift ever. You're on a full scholarship for ECU, and your name and number is on this letter. Man, no, uh, you, you don't have you don't have to thank me. You know what? You you've earned it. A lot of people get given a lot of things in life. You weren't given anything. I should be saying thank you to you. Okay. Uh, Lord Congratulations, have mercy. Thank Congratulations. you so much. Proud of him, proud of you. Yes, indeed. It means so much to me. Happy Mother's Day. Ready, Pirate fans? Planet Fitness in Greenville is a proud sponsor of ECU football. Sail in for this great deal. Get the Planet Fitness black card now and enjoy exclusive access at Planet Fitness in Greenville, Wilson, Rocky Mount, and throughout the Triangle area. One low price for everything Planet Fitness. Unlimited guest privileges, free unlimited fitness training, hydro massage and massage chairs, tanning, and more. Make out like a pirate. Get the Planet Fitness black card today. Online at planetfitness.com. Planet Fitness, the world judges. We don't. Football fans, ECU kicks off another season starting this Saturday, September 2nd at 6 p.m. when the Pirates battle the Dukes of James Madison. There's still time to be a part of the undaunted Pirate Nation seven Saturdays this fall by ordering season tickets, mini plans, or single game tickets. Purchase today by calling 800-DIAL-ECU or go online to ecupirates.com and be a part of the excitement. Don't miss the opener this Saturday at 6 when the Pirates take on the Dukes. These are the moments that make ECU home football games extraordinary. This fall, Pirate Nation will come together seven times to cheer on the purple and gold. Experience all that game day has to offer and create memorable moments with your family. Together, we share a state of mind. And together, we are the Pirates of ECU. Visit ecupirates.com to purchase your 2017 Pirate football season tickets today. 7,000 student athletes rising to become champions in 21 different sports at 13 esteemed institutions across 11 states. 360,000 students and 2.6 million alumni rise up in celebration of a Power Six conference known as the American.
Welcome back to the show, Coach. I know you've heard us a million times about iron sharpens iron, and that's what kind of competition you had for the quarterback spot, didn't you? Yeah, it was one of those situations where in this competition, we knew that it was going to be a high-level competition. What we didn't know is that they weren't going to turn the ball over. We didn't know that they would have great relationship with their teammates. Uh, so it made it difficult for us, but we put together a formula to try to make sure that we put, pick, pick the guy that was best for our, our football team, and that's exactly what we did. Our, our team rallied around. They would have rallied around either person, but they rallied around Gardner when he was named, and we were just really, really excited to get the competition over with and then also get ready to move into the season. It really was the storyline of fall practice, and let's get this report. It's time now for today's Pirate Profile, brought to you by Quality Collision. Quality Collision, more than a name, a commitment. Oftentimes, a quarterback competition evolves into a quarterback controversy, but that wasn't the case this summer at ECU. Junior Gardner Minshew was named the starting quarterback after a fierce battle with graduate transfer Thomas Sirk. Man, Sirk came in and hats off to me. Hey, he, he played, did it the right way. You know, he, we both competed our butts off and, uh, you know, we both want the same thing. We just want to compete and help the team win. And, you know, we're both, uh, you know, all on board to do that coming into the season. As the two battled, they grew closer as friends. Quarterbacks share a unique bond as both realize there can be only one starter. But make no mistake about it, Thomas Sirk will still help this ECU team win football games. Yeah, I'm not going to let up. That doesn't mean that I let up in any form. You know, I'm going to continue to compete. I have to stay focused on what my job is, what my role is, uh, be prepared. You never want to be the guy that has to go in and, uh, in a situation and not be prepared. Uh, so I'm going to prepare like I'm number one always uh, and just keep that mentality. The offense seems comfortable with either Minshew or Sirk at quarterback. Senior wide receiver Jimmy Williams is a strong believer that competition makes everyone better. I mean, the quarterback battle, you know, it's always great to see people compete. And, you know, one thing that I always like to see is competition. That's one thing I like to do. That's why I love to practice so much is, I mean, I love competition, you know, and to see those guys, you know, there's never any putting each other down. That's the beauty of it with teammates. So, I mean, it's a lot of love in that room and you could tell, but it was nice to see that uh, competition. Even though the job is his for now, Minshew knows the work is really just beginning and he knows he'll be pushed all season long. Oh, no question. You know, we're both on board to win games, and that's what we're going to do no matter the role. Uh, is, you know, we're going to keep pushing each other because that's what we are. We're two competitors. A little bit of relief, um, you know, but I, I'm just excited for JMU. Uh, I'm glad that we're past that and we can put all our focus on them because uh, that's, that's what I've been thinking about. And now JMU is most certainly on the clock for both quarterbacks. For the Coach Mo Show, I'm Brian Bailey. Five, four, three, two, one. Today we've got number 32 with us, freshman running back Trace Christian. Uh, Trace is 5'11", 227 pounds, so he's going to add some size to our running back position this year. What we're going to do today is we're going to demonstrate what we call a rear leg elevated single leg squat. This exercise is called a rear leg elevated single leg squat. Uh, it's a great unilateral exercise and also really good for rehab if you have one side of your body injured. Okay, what Trace is going to do is going to go ahead and get some depth, keep his chest up, come on up just short of locking out and then right back down under control, get a nice range of movement. So we're getting a warm up set in here just with body weight. Good job. So now we've added some weight, uh, 220 kilogram kettlebells. All right, let's try that. That's it under control. It's good. Good job. Uh, one thing we've noticed about Trace since he's been here is that he has a big personality. Uh, he is gifted socially. So, Trace, do you have anything you want to say to Pirate Nation today? I just want to say to Pirate Nation, appreciate all the support, and thanks for making Dowdy Ficklin one of the best atmospheres in college football. All right. Go Pirates. Camp Connors is brought to you by Core Power, official protein drink of the Pirates. So you're up at dawn, kid, look alive. 
You've been saving for a big man cave. Good luck with that, Dave. You made the most of your retirement plan, so you better learn to drive that RV man. So many things you're doing in your life. Nationwide is on your side. Tens of thousands of students attend East Carolina University, and some never set foot on campus because our distance education classes are taught by professional faculty and held to the same high standards as on-campus learning. As one of the largest universities and the largest online community in the state, you'll find the Pirate Nation wherever you are. With this many ways to connect, share, and succeed, we'll guide you to graduation and beyond. ECU Online, North Carolina's leader in distance education. I'm not the type to say any of this mushy garbage. You know what? I'm going for it. You are completely and utterly awesome. I'm glad you showed up. In my life. I think I'm about to cry. You better not. Every single time I get down. You always have my back. My back. It's really hard to describe. It's like all these tiny little things. Yes, yes, things. Are actually friendship. are the faces that make up Pirate Nation, an undaunted family. These snapshots in time remind us why we play. They're moments in time that motivate and create memories for generations. Seven Saturdays this fall, create your own memories as together we share a state of mind and together we are the Pirates of ECU. Visit ecupirates.com to purchase your 2017 Pirate football season tickets today. Power explodes and excites. It has strength. Power is knowledge and heart. Power is standing together, stretching the boundaries, rising up, getting better together to rise even higher. Let's go. The American Power for Life. compete at the highest level in everything we do. I think we got the, the talent here to beat a lot of people and if we can just find the conviction to compete amongst each other, I think that'll put us a, ahead of a lot of our teams alone. Welcome back to the show. Doesn't seem possible. Pirate football just around the corner. Coming up on Saturday, JMU comes to town. The defending FCS national champions. They were 14-1 and one last year. Coach, you're really jumping into the fire, aren't you? Man, big time challenge with JMU coming in. 45 plus points on, on offense score. You know, they win the last 12 games of the season. Uh, their only loss the whole year came to UNC. So we know what type of battle that we're in for, but we know there's not a question about we, we know this is a national champion coming in here and our guys will be prepared and ready for it. We're, we have a lot of team chemistry. We have a lot of depth and those are the things that we were lacking, I think, last year. And we're excited to get this season started. No doubt about that, Coach. Hey, thanks for the visit. We'll see you next week. Go Pirates. That's Scotty Montgomery. Join us next week for the Scotty Montgomery Show right here. Have a great week, everybody. The Coach Mo Show has been presented by Suddenlink. One gig speed from Suddenlink is here. The Coach Mo Show is an exclusive presentation of IMG, America's home for college sports.